Hi everybody, it's Jilly. I hope you're all safe, well and you're happy. Um, I've been waiting for the post to come because it's... Um, I live in the UK and it's the Platinum Jubilee. So Thursday and Friday was bank holidays, so there was no post. So I've waited till today and I waited and nothing came in the post. So the, I should have done it yesterday as normal. But never mind, I'm going to share with you my incoming post crossing mail. And I thought, I normally do it on a Friday, but I've waited till today because, as, as I said, um, I haven't had any mail for a few days. But sadly, nothing came, so I'll share with you what I've got. I didn't get a lot of mail this week, but it's quality, not quantity, that matters, isn't it? So the first one I got is from America, and this is it, and I think it's brilliant, and it just sums up dogs and cats very well. Dogs v Cats, the final showdown. Dogs, the best friend for life. Bags, bark maniac. Peas and everything. He's alert, always happy to see you. The cat, weird roommate for life. Per machine, peas in a box sometimes. Fussy, moderately happy to see you. <laughs> I just love it. It's so true. And this person is Anya. And she has a cat called Talker, which means morning in Russia. And this lady's... Russian, but she lives in America. And there is the stamp, which is a dog, a German Shepherd. But look at the, I love the stamp there, look, New York, 25th of May, 2022. So this actually took less than a week to get here, which I think is really fast. So that's the first one. The second one is a meetup card and it's from Finland. I don't get many cards from Finland. It's also a Moomin card, which I absolutely love. I love Moomin. remember watching this when I was young, and I really did enjoy watching it. So there is the postcard. And I've covered my address. There is the stamp. There. There's no message as such. Sunny and warm greetings from Post Crossing Meetup in Vasa, Finland. And it's everybody's little stamps, which I like to see. I think they're lovely so thank you so much i love that one the next one is from uh, it's from america as well and it's from a college station in texas so how cool is this i haven't had a shipped um postcard a meet a post crossing type one before so i was like a mailbox i was quite pleased to get that it's really nice so thank you so much. And this is, uh, doesn't say who it's from, but this is from College State in Texas. Uh, wish this postcard arrives safe and fast. I'm a local pottery artist, wheel throwing and hand building bowls, mugs and so on. And it's already 36C over there. And her city is University Base City. So really nice. So thank you. Now, that was my post crossing. That was it. Three. But three very unique and lovely postcards, wouldn't you agree? Um, my next bit of mail, this is from our dear friend, Luis. And he sent me this from Madrid. And it says, lost in Madrid. There's just so much going on in there, isn't there? Uh, lots of buses and vehicles and um, roadsides and all sorts really really nice so this is from lewis as i say uh, this is the stamp i didn't show you the last stamp did i that one did i show you there is the stamps and i think they're gorgeous so thank you look at the boot cowboy boot love it so yeah back to back to dear friend lewis so he sent me this lovely card he went over to madrid and stayed there for a little while and while he was on his travels he sent me this card so I'll show you the stamp again. Lovely stamp sticker there and a smiley face. And he he just goes on to talk about Spain and stuff like that. And he had to get his passport sorted and different bits and pieces. But I absolutely love the card. So I love it because every time you look at it, you see something a bit different. So thank you, Lewis. And Lewis wasn't done there because he sent me... Uh, some friend mail and he sent this on the 24th of May and it got here quite quickly and inside 
He sent me a letter, which is uh, just a letter for me, basically, on a uh, really nice paper, actually. Uh, he's got a gift for me. Um, he's been sorting out his stamps, and he thought I would like some. Of course I would like some. So this is what he sent me. Um, I'll just show you. Um, I like I quite like train stamps, so he sent me those. I won't go through all of them, but he did send me a lovely selection. More stamps with trains on, and these are going to go great in... That looks like Stevenson's Rocket, doesn't it? Really nice. So, all the early steam trains, aren't they? So they're great. And he sent me more stamps. He just went like, so generous, Louis. 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 So more train stamps. All of these. These are really nice. So he sent me all sorts of different ones. Vietnam. Cuba. Thank you so much. That's a good one, isn't it? Look at the tiny train. Lots of people sitting on it. And more stamps. Let's pull these out. And these are more train stamps. Just, it's been so, oh, very generous with this. These are lovely. So I've just, as you know, I've just started out and taken an interest in the last year with stamps. So um, I did a little swap with Lewis some time ago and this is what I got returned and he's been so generous compared to what I sent. <laughs> feel a bit guilty. Uh, I'm not open all of these, but there's more train ones inside that one. That's some more. Oh my goodness. Korea. These are great. There's some more. Uh, what's in here? I think these are animals. I'm not going to get them out because they're obviously other plants, flowers. I love the little envelope, Lewis. Some more. Some Christmas ones. You know, I like Christmas. So he sent me Christmas season greeting style ones. And what I'll do is when I put them in a book, I will flip through it so you can see them. Mine here, flowers and cats. Oh my gosh. These are great. Look at those. Like I say, once I've got them um, in an album, I'll be able to show you better. So yeah. Very generous friend indeed. Um, always happy to send Lewis something in that I'm always appreciative of him sending me something back. Um, these are not for swap or anything like that, guys, so please don't be offended when I say no. As I said, I'm just starting out in stamp collecting and I'm trying to grow my own collection without giving them away to anybody. So please don't be offended by that just the way it is. Now that was all my friend mail until I got this lovely envelope here. Uh, I'll just cover my address. Look at the stamps on this. This is from my friend Michelle and she's covered it in vintage stamps. Aren't they lovely? And this um, envelope is handmade by Michelle as well. Look at the back. It's great. And inside she wrote a note on a couple of um, postcards. I won't turn it on because it's got her letter on. But aren't they lovely? And she sent me her collection of scenes that she's been making. And they're all different themes. So this one is floral stamps. And as you flip through, it's all different stamps from all over the world. And I think it's absolutely beautiful. 
there's that one. Uh, and there's the back. What's that one? Floral zine, isn't that gorgeous? Turn page. Roses are red. Violets are blue. Flowers make me happy and zines too too. And there's the back. And another one, this has got cats on it. Hello, my name is Badger. This is me when I was a kitten. My mum says I'm still cute, but she also calls me a big lion. Look at the difference, eh? Oh. I love hairbands and how I was a fun chasing around the house. I am also an art lover. That's good to know, isn't it? My favourite thing to do is to explore outside. I'm very good at climbing trees and she likes to sleep. And there's the back. Another scene there. This is the other cat, Nutmeg. I'm very good at helping. As you can see, Michelle's trying to make something out of fabric. Oh no, she's gift wrapping presents and he's helping. I love plastic milk bottle tops. I play with them for hours and shells. And I do love a good box. Cats do like boxes, don't they? Any box will do, even a paper bag. And there's the information about Nutmeg. And the next one is all about birds, like collage, and this is just absolutely amazing. So zines is like a mini magazine basically, and you make it out of a piece of A4 paper. I did, um, did a video on it actually, but there's lots of videos on uh, YouTube to show you how to, to make them. I would go and have a look if you're interested. My patchwork projects, I love patchwork, look at those. And um, there's one there she's made. You need some patience to do these, don't you? They are gorgeous. Michelle is multi-talented. So, and this one here, the art of Victorian advertising, is my favourite one out of the zines. Because it's all to do with Victorian um, advertising and what people used to use back in the day. Sunlight soap, I think you can still get that, maybe. Um, this is Beaton's Cookery Books. I actually have that book somewhere. Yeah, Ivy Soap. Huh. Oh. And there's that back one there. Oh, Ox Tongue in Tins. Sounds delightful. <laughs> so that is, uh, yeah, my favourite one. So... There we go, guys. That is my um, friend mail and post crossing. I don't know about you. I don't know which one's your favourite. Um, I actually love this one, the Madrid one, because I've never had a postcard like this before with all the different things going on. And I think I would be lost in Madrid if I went there and I saw that coming at me. It's brilliant, isn't it? So, yeah, let me know what your favourites are. Um, do you like stamps? Are you are you like me and just um, starting out in the world of stamp collecting and zines? I've just uh, learnt how to do zines and I'm really enjoying um, creating them with my craft and art supplies. So yeah, there we go. I hope you enjoyed this video. Hope you enjoyed the, the mail that I received this week. Until next time, do stay well, safe and happy. Bye bye now.